In March 2016, Liberty head office in South Africa was faced with water shortages due to below average rainfall. So we started looking at how Liberty can become a more resilient water user. Our water project was born. A water storage tank was designed to ensure that if there was a water outage, head office would have at least three days of uninterrupted operation where we could respond to clients, support the business and provide safe and clean working facilities for our staff. Did we need to pour good quality drinking water down the toilet or was there another option? Grey water. Water that has been used in washing hands, for example, is grey water. So a grey water collection and treatment plant was designed to collect all the likely used water from our hand basins, treat it safely and use it to supplement toilet flushing water and for use in our air conditioning systems. This will safely save at least 2 million litres of water a year. A second method is to harvest and safely use rainwater. A design to collect rainwater from 70% of the head office roof was developed and implemented. The rainwater tank is designed to hold 300,000 litres of water. This is equivalent to four days of consecutive rain in the summer rainfall season in Johannesburg. This system will save Liberty 20 million litres of water a year, translating into a financial saving of 1 million rand. The water project started in October 2016 and completed in April 2017. The area had to be prepared adequately to support the weight of the 300,000 litre tank, as the weight of the water alone is 300 tonnes. The tank was constructed from sectional steel panels for a long-term and durable water collection and storage solution. A small treatment plant was installed to ensure that this water is safe for use in our building. We also organised a number of awareness sessions with our staff to inform them what was happening in the building. At the sessions, we asked them to make a pledge on water saving and conservation and answered questions on the water project and what it might mean for them. The system is now fully functional and has been saving water and improving Liberty's resilience to water service disruptions from July 2017.